All right, so I've been working on a project off and on for maybe about a month now, and this project it was specifically tailored for older car audio amplifiers. Now, the modern amplifiers have, or well, most of them, or some of the good ones at least, have a bass control knob. And this bass control knob actually controls your amplifier bass level. Um, I wanted this option in my vehicle but I don't have a newer amplifier and I'm not gonna go buy a new amplifier because my old one works just fine and I love it so what do you do you can buy these cheapo let me show you um, this is the interfaces you can buy that tap into your RCA plugs now this will work but it opens up to a, a a bunch of different problems number one is you're gonna have to run extra RCA's back and forth from this thing and it may introduce some noise and it's just I don't know it's not the right way to do it that's why the newer modern amps use this little remote uh, RJ6 connector that uh, takes the potentiometer value that comes from the pot and does this automatically in the amplifier so let's so basically there is no audio coming down this line. Well, at least there shouldn't be. I don't, I'm pretty sure they're not using audio coming down. This is an unshielded cable. It's just strictly an RJ6, uh, almost like a phone line. So there's no audio coming down this and there won't be any audio coming down in my project either. And the reason why I'm telling you guys this is because I'm trying to get your feedback. Maybe, you know, down the road, if I really polish this thing up and actually start designing boards, maybe I'll start developing uh, a final product for, for, for other people that want these. So um, let me know what you think of it. And, uh, you know, it'd be, uh, it'd be nice if I have the time, I can put something together and start printing some boards and have, you know, and just start, you know, assembling these things. Uh, for people that really want them. Uh, so I'm going to give you a little demonstration of how this works. Uh, this project here was um, a little bit of a crossbreed because of the components I had available to me. So let's go down to the test equipment cam here. And so on the top here is all regular, well, old, uh, uh, regular sized you know components that you would expect for a lot of older stuff but underneath there's a lot of SMD stuff on the underside of the board going on so it uh, there's, a, there's a lot going on in this so it's not a simple project you're gonna build on the weekend so the way I've developed this is is it's gonna have reverse polarity protection it has uh, ground remote and B plus just like your uh, regular car audio amplifier so you should you'll be able to hook it up to where you would hook up your amplifier. It's got reverse polarity protection, and I can show you that right here. I'm gonna plug the negative into the positive, and the big no-no here. <laughs> so that's in there now, and it's not drawing any current. If I reverse the leads, and she turned on. And I've kind of just scabbed on the female RJ6, like you would find in the new amplifiers. Some amplifiers actually come with this, and some amplifiers, I can believe like some of the MTXs come with uh, an eighth inch uh, female audio jack type style plug. Uh, either or all would work, but uh, for this specifically, I chose this because I wanted to use an off the shelf kicker volume control knob and these are about twenty dollars and they're already come in a case they're already done they come with a bracket that you can mount it to screws and a long cord so for twenty bucks I you know I it's you can't build that it's got a nice little nice little knob that you can uh, turn it's got a good feel to it you can feel the increments in it so it's um, for twenty bucks it wasn't worth you know just wiring up a pot and by you know making a cable so this is why I went this route um, I designed this so that if you unplug this that the it will be a straight pass through through this 
device so it will um, it will it will default to whatever your amp gain set is set to so we're just going to pass through whatever comes in comes out when you hook up this connector here to the base knob it now integrates the potentiometer control and there's no audio coming down this I guarantee you there's no audio coming down this cable and this here is a two channel model prototype so I'm going to plug this in and what I have here is the um, we're just going to do one channel for now uh, the yellow channel on my scope here is going to be the input and the purple is the output I'm going to put in uh, 600 millivolts peak to peak uh, into this amplifier and we're going to see if we get a control out of this and when you vary the input it's going to vary the output too so it's all going to be linear and all it's going to adjust the same way it would you would expect it to for a volume control or a gain control uh, let's see let's turn that on so right now we have the input is um, 600 millivolts peak to peak and this device is capable of actually producing audio up to 4 volts peak to peak just like your uh, head units are capable of uh, outputting not that I think they really are doing that uh, most of the time because um, you know you get some loss in the uh, coaxes but this is capable of reproducing a 4 volts peak to peak signal so I'm going to turn up the gain on this you can see it's a match And now I'm going to adjust the input, and it should follow the output. Well, the output should follow the input. Now, if I turn this down and I unplug it, it should default back to the stock gain control setting, which it does. So, yeah, I'm kind of thinking this is going to be a cool little thing, you know. Um, I mean, a lot of it's just uh, old school stuff on the top, but uh, on the bottom there's a, there's a lot of SMD components uh, doing a lot of work down here, too. I haven't mounted anything in here yet. I'm thinking I'm going to punch in um, my, my two female RCA jacks on one side and the other two on the other, or I haven't decided yet, so... Um, I'm just trying to see here um, how it's going to work. I'm going to put it in my vehicle and run it for a while and see how I like it, see if I need to modify the design a little bit. Uh, this thing has, you know, many possibilities to control the amplifier. So I'm, I'm kind of just want to get you guys feedback on that and see what you guys think. Is this something I should, you guys think this is something I should progress and, and, and possibly make into a final product and possibly make for sale um <clears throat> then let me know what you guys think i mean you can buy like i said those cheap rca volume pots there but um i've never seen anybody use one of those to be honest with you <clears throat> and uh if you do you do I, that, that's fine i'm not knocking that but uh, i i think this is more a, a better way to 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 go about it so uh yeah if um what was I going to say? There was going to be another thing here. Yeah, I, I think there's going to be two versions of this. I think there's going to be an external version and a possible internal version. But I think it's going to be the same board, but it's going to be, depending on what I what I want it to, to distribute, will be the amount of parts that I populate it with. Because this has its own internal pos, uh, positive and negative power supply for the internal circuitry. In the amplifier you should have roughly a plus and minus 15 volt rail for most of your preamp op, op amps in your amplifier. I mean, that's not a guarantee, but you know, the voltage may be different. It may be five volts, nine volts, 15, 20, 25, I don't know. But this thing is capable of handling most up to, I believe, plus and minus um, 
12 volts, 20 volts, somewhere in there. I don't know. I have to go through all the data sheets and all the components and make sure it can actually handle that. But that stuff will all be ironed out later. Uh, but I just wanted to make sure that I could actually... Because if you actually wanted to get a board that had just the board and you actually went into your amplifier and you actually modified it to work inside the amplifier, drilled a hole, put a quarter inch jack in there for you know, your pot that comes out, that'd be awesome. Because then all you have to do is go in and tap off stuff that's in the amplifier. You'd have to break away the RCAs. That would be the one thing you'd have to do is because you'd have to intercept the signal that goes from the RCA to your amplifier and, and, and try and get this module to go in between to do this. Which shouldn't be too big of a deal if you work on electronics. So, um, yeah, or you can get the uh, external box, possibly, uh, that's going to be all set to go. You just plug in the RCAs to the box, and your box, your RCA is coming from your head unit and your uh, base control knob there, and uh, hook up your positive uh, and negative 12 volts and re remote turn on, and, and you're done. Um, so, yeah, I'm just throwing that out there because I don't know how you know, if anybody else is going to be looking for something like this. I know I am. I know a couple of people I know are, are asking for stuff like this. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's... There's nothing out there right now that you can buy to modify an old amp to have that feature. So I think it's something that's been missing in the car audio uh, accessory bin for uh, quite a while now. Uh, other than that piece of junk that I showed you that you can get that just varies the RCA input. I mean, which will work, but um, I, I think it's just a little excessive in, the, in, in how it's wired and how you'd have to, to wire it. I mean, if you want to put it up near your head unit, it might be okay. And, you know, intercept your head unit wiring up there. And if it's going to be really close, then maybe it's not bad. But if you're trying to run RCAs back and forth and just to control your base... I think this is much more of an efficient way to do it. Uh, it's more, cl it's cleaner, and it's got thinner wiring, and uh, I think it's just a better way to go. So uh, enough of the babbling. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll come back and uh, we'll we'll see some more repairs or some more talk about some more projects. Have a good night.